that you're you're waiting for something. I am. I Why don't am. you tell us? Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to find my wife, bro. Tell them how you're born again. What are the requirements? What are the requirements for yeah. a wife? Well, she's got to love the Lord. Um, she's got to be unvaccinated. She has to be politically conservative. I think if somebody truly loves the Lord, they will naturally be politically conservative. Um, has to be traditionally feminine. Are you shaking your head at that? Keep going. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> um, you know, traditionally feminine, if, if a woman loves the Lord and she subscribes to biblical values, she will understand that it is the man's job to lead the family, provide for the family, and to lead the family under the headship of Christ. And it's the woman's job to submit to that man's headship in the family. So a woman that's cool with the idea of submission. Now, a lot of women have issues with the idea of submission, understandably so. What I would be bringing to the table in a scenario like marriage is, is actually being worthy of submitting to as a man, right? Uh, earning her submission through good leadership. But yeah, dude, I'm, I'm looking for a wife and uh, I'm not like intensely looking. I uh, recently went through an, an interesting relationship situation and I'm kind of kind of taking a break from looking for the time being. His good. DMs are open though. <laughs> Yes, yes. DMs are. are open. Yes, they are. Um, so do you, do you want a virgin? Ideally, absolutely. Can she be a born-again virgin? That was my question. I mean, mm. I'm not, like, terribly opposed to it. Like, I, it? I'm, you could call me a born-again virgin in the sense that I stopped having sex three years ago. I mean, last time I was on with you, you called yourself a born-again virgin. Definitely. I don't know if I use those words. I you think, said that you... I think I simply said that I started saving myself a few years ago. I don't believe in the whole idea of like born again okay. virginity. Like yeah, maybe, I don't think someone, you can like, maybe someone else said it. I don't think you can like reclaim your yeah. virginity. Okay. You know? Is it like Thank a you. complete okay. deal breaker if she's not it's, a virgin? It's not a complete deal breaker, no. But like if she has a high body count, like, you know. No. What's considered high? I mean, if, if her How body count. How many do you have? If her body count Me? is higher. Yeah. 12. Chase, is that too much? Including yeah, girls much. and boys. If, if Kiko became a born again virgin, do you think that there's. I think I think a potential if, match if Kiko between you and, and I Kiko? got married, one of us would not make it out of the marriage alive. Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never touched anyone in my life. Not even your current boyfriend. I mean, like in a phys- like a harmful she, way. She like I've never gotten into a fight. She I've never with a girl. You. I've, I'm not a physical person. You've never thrown like an axe at a boyfriend or anything. Like axe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but like um, a Tupperware or some shit. Yeah. No, if, if her body counts higher than mine, which is seven, it's, it's a deal breaker. Well, technically, if, because you probably wouldn't count girls for me, right? So mine would be under seven then. You know, wow. I would count, I would count girls. Oh, you would? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's also kind of a deal breaker for me. If she's been with girls? Yeah, totally. That's a deal breaker for you? Totally, dude. Why is that? Because I don't, I don't want the bisexual woman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kiko. I mean, I, do you think I was on a date chase anyways? 